Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So today I have a Goose Creek haul, a large one, of their new winter holiday fragrances. Not really sure how they're categorizing things. They're categorizing them by winter this year. So there are six um, two-wick candles in, in the traditional jar format. And then I have two in the three wick format there. So do have all these here. I'm going to go show them to you real quick, do it once over, and then we'll get more in depth with them. So here we have Candy Cane Kiss. We have North Pole Bakery right there. Ivory Rocking Horse. Love that label. Sweet Pine, Sweet Pine and Snowflake, right there. Snow Covered Apple. Under the Mistletoe, love this label, love that wax color. Love everything about this candle. Waiting for Santa is a three wick. And this one kind of takes us into the new year, Champagne Bubbles. So let's start with the Three Wicks Champagne Bubbles. Three Wicks are not new per se for Goose Creek. They came out, and you guys have heard me talk about these and I've, I've reviewed them before. They came out under the Elixir brand in 2018, it was. And then they stopped after a while. And then they brought them back a couple months ago in the springtime. Um, but under the Goose Creek under the Goose Creek brand this time. So here is Champagne Bubbles. It's a three wick, of course, talking about it. We have that nice Champagne Blush colored wax. 14.5 uh, ounces. So probably the same burn time, like I said before, 30 ish, 30, 45 hours there. And this is like that blush, bubbly champagne, the sweetness. Um, like if you dip, like, uh, I know some folks drink their champagne with like strawberry or raspberry, something like that. There's a fruit note going on in here, a berry note specifically. And you do get the effervescence of a bubbly champagne there. This one says champagne bubbles. So of course we have the effervescent bubbliness going on in there. So that, that's champagne bubble. We'll save that for New Year's Eve. Maybe before if you want. No worries. And here we have Waiting for Santa. This one is a little interesting because I love the label and the wax color. But the fragrance I don't quite understand. Right off the top, here's the blue wax right there. These are the thicker wicks. Those were thinner wicks. Right off the top on this, I get a berry note. A dark berry note, a heavy berry note. But there's also like um, a creaminess going on with it. Like a marshmallow? Is there a marshmallow in here? There might be. It's unique. It is unique, it is conceptual. You know, sometimes when you think of like waiting for Santa and you have the you know, you have Santa coming down the chimney placing the toys, you would think kind of like milk and cookies or uh, like a tree scent or a fireside scent. Um, but here they chose to go a little, a little out there and it's not bad. Um, it's just not, I don't know if that's what I would if that's the fragrance I would use for waiting for Santa. So berries, dark berries, cream, vanilla, marshmallow fluff going on. So that is waiting for Santa. All right, three weeks out of the way. Let's go with Sweet Pine and Snowflakes. I love this label, the wax color. It's like a periwinkle. I don't get to use that word a lot, periwinkle. And we have um, two deer, a buck, and a, a fawn. And uh, they're in the woods. The snow is falling. The snow has been falling for a while. 
Oh, this is really good. This is really, really good. So they say sweet pine, and it is because pine can go the astringent pine saw cleaner vibe. Uh, this is a very sweet tree note. You do get the outdoor feel coming from the snowflakes, sort of. Because there is a little bit of a cold note going on in here. With the sweet pine. There was... This is beautiful. This is actually a really um, beautiful fragrance. <clears throat> so yeah, if you like... Um... Sparkling... Sparkling blossom, sparkling... Sparkling pine. Very close to that. So that is, um, that's that. I love it. I love it. I love the periwinkle color. I love everything about that. I love the marmalade. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous candle. All right. Let's move into snow covered apple. Here we have an apple, which uh, looks to be on the tree still. And they're getting a early season snowstorm. Red. Red wax. All right. So, we got going on here? Apple, no doubt. Uh, like a sweet red Macintoshy type apple. The outdoor note there. Citrus. So there's some citrus going on here. Citrus can sometimes be um, used when they include the word snow, sparkling. Um, companies tend to do that, and they, they use citrus with that. Because it kind of it, it brightens it up a little bit. You take a heavy, heavy, dark sand, add some citrus in there. It always gives it a brighter vibe. So this is not like knock you in your face, Macintosh apple, anything. It's not like a pure apple scent that we would associate with the fall. This is certainly uh, more of a winter apple. So yeah, it, it is interesting. It is certainly interesting. It's a little light, a little light and cold. But doesn't mean it's not gonna be strong. So that's um, snow covered apples right there. Ah, what should I go to? What should I go to? Ah, love this one here. Ivory Rocking Horse. Now, when I first saw this, I'm like, what does an ivory rocking horse smell like? It's going to smell like wood? Nah. Nah, nah. Nice white cream wax. Ah, this is gorgeous as well. This is, um, like, uh... Fresh laundered blanket, uh, wool, warm wool type fragrance. Uh, not like laundry pod tie detergent, nothing like that. But uh, you just get like like a fresh cashmere, you know, the scent of cashmere. Um, and you can get that like right out of the dryer or hang dry. It's, just like, it's nice and warm. Th that's what this is. This is going to be a great, great bedroom scent, living room scent. It's just calm. It's it's just relaxing. It's it's great. <laughs> and it's great. I hope this one performs a lot. I love it. I love the label. Um, I love everything uh, about this this one. I didn't see these came in melts. They might. I gotta see if they do or not. All right. Next we have here another really good one. Under the mistletoe. So, love that wax color. It goes great with the label. But the two it is just... It's got that sweet... Um, this reminds me when you go into a garden center and it's a little chilly out, of course, because it's the winter time. And you go outside and they have all their wreaths lined up on a, on a table there or, or hanging up there. And some of them are decorated. Some have the juniper sprigs on them. Some have the red berries on them. 
Um, and that's what you get with this. There is the cedar. There is definitely cedar, um, you know, the cedar roping that you can wrap around. And it has that red berry, holly berry vibe to it. It is just a fresh outdoor green, right, greenery fragrance that is unique and red berry and cedar um would probably be the closest thing but this is a little bit more i don't want to say pleasant but uh red berry and cedar are kind of harsh to me at least i love this i i love it the greenery there we have that was actually our juniper sprigs uh on there the berries and whatnot so that's just this just describes it um perfectly this picture it's just gorgeous gorgeous all around fragrance and this is candy cane kisses right here or candy cane kiss rather this is your traditional um peppermint candy cane fragrance uh that is appealing to so many folks <clears throat> and there is like that um candy cane like the whip like the peppermint whip there was a peppermint whip last year i think it was from here a little, a little different but all, all these candy cane um fragrances there's not much room you can really experiment with either way there so that's kind of why they all um tend to be very similar so that is uh that's Kitty and Kisses. It's it's a really nice, really nice fragrance. Actually, it's not too like some like the clear sinus because they're so strong, like twisted peppermint. <laughs> clear sinuses there. Not so much with this, at least on cold, or at least on cold, you know. But digging it, I'm really digging it. So there you go. Last up we have here is North Pole Bakery. I love the label on this as well. When you, when you look at the label, you see it's a bunch of gingerbread houses um, or gingerbread decorated like houses dressed up on a cake. You would think this is going to be like a gingerbread house fragrance. Remember, they had the gingerbread house fragrance last year, which on cold was tremendous, but it was very weak thrower. This, um, quite the opposite, at least when you uh, take it up and smell cold. There is a lot going on here. I know one of the notes in here is churro. Yes, you do get that cinnamon sugar note of the churro. Caramel. Um, very, uh, a lot of caramel. A lot of drizzle, caramel swirl going on. A lot of sweet sugar. A little bit sugary vanilla. Brown sugar. Brown sugar for sure. <clears throat> this is just a very sweet. If you have a sweet tooth, um... For sweet candy, sweet bakery treats, that's what you got going on here. This is going to be a real, real strong thrower, I can tell. So that is, that That wraps up my haul of Goose Creek candles for winter. I don't know if there more are coming out. It's still very early in the season, so I have to believe that there might be some more trickling out. Could be wrong, though. Let's see. Um, right now, you got to watch their sales uh, lately. They've been kind of all over the place. Uh, one day they're $9.99, next day they're full price, but buy two, get two free, or um, buy one, get one free, buy two, get them half off. I don't know. So just, um, just sign up for their emails. Go on their website. They have an email thing there. Sign up for their emails, and they will send you all the different codes and coupons and sales going on um, for that day there. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all real soon. Have a good one.